Hello everybody, welcome to the Ankle Cast. This may be your first time listening to an Ankle Cast. Uh, what I do on here is I just talk about my writing and my uh, goals and what I've been able to achieve or not been, been able to achieve, etc. Mostly what I've not been able to achieve because that's kind of the way I roll. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> You may be wondering why you're hearing this. Um, it's because the jerks at the Dune Steve, basically Big Anklevich, has decided that we're just going to put everything onto the main feed. You don't have to listen to this if you don't want to. I will not be offended if you see the ankle cast in your feed and just delete it. I mostly won't be offended because I won't know that you've done that. I don't have any way of finding out, but... Uh, you can go ahead and delete it if you want. That's just fine. But if you, you know, would like to listen and see what's going on, I would also not be offended if you listened. Uh, so anyways, um, Rish has been on my case to make a, a an ankle cast um, recently because we were talking. I did a blog post about this, so maybe you saw it on my blog, but most likely since this is on the main feed nobody saw that because nobody goes to my blog except for about 20 people um so anyways uh i made a blog post where i was talking about what happened uh recently i was i was out with rish and we were talking and uh i was talking basically about how last year at about this time, I made a bunch of goals that I was going to achieve before turning 40 years old, because that's what I do this year, I turn 40 years old, which, it shouldn't be a big deal, you know, age is just a number and all that crap that they say, uh, but it's still, it's one of those monumental ages or something where, you know, it, I've, I'm tr stepping over from, young to middle age it seems you know you're you're a, you're a youth you know you're a child to a youth from 0 to 20 from 20 to 40 you're a you know a young adult and now you're middle aged and then when you're o over 60 then i guess you're senior i don't know elderly <laughs> i'm sure there's plenty of 60 year old folks that would want to punch me in the nuts for calling them elderly but um you know, that's 20 or 60 to 80. Uh, and then there's, you know, 80 to 100 where you're super, you're, you're much more up there. I don't know, that was definitely called elderly. And then, uh, yeah, then once you're beyond 100, hell, you're a living legend. If you're still alive, you're, you're amazing. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm turning 40 this year. And I have to admit that I'm, I'm upset about it. I don't want to go over 40. I don't want to feel like I'm old. Um, which I don't have to unless I think that way. So somehow I gotta change my mind. But anyways, that's, uh, that's the issues that I'm dealing with. And I, I had that birthday coming up. And so the year before I said, okay, I am going to you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bunch of things before I'm 40. I want to do this, and I want to do this, and you know, I was gonna run a marathon before I'm 40, and I was, one of the things I was gonna do was go a whole year without drinking soda. I went six months without drinking soda, and then just out of the blue, I decided, you know what, this isn't worth it, and I gave up, and I quit, and I started drinking soda again, and now I look back at that, and I think, what an idiot I was. Why did I give up? on that that was you know i'd made it six months why did i quit it seems like you know i'm gonna write a novel and i wrote you know 75 percent of it i wrote a lot you know a huge amount i wrote 300 pages you know and then i was like no nah, this isn't worth it and i quit you know it just seems like that what a stupid stupid thing to do quit on that but anyways uh, we were talking about how I hadn't achieved any of those goals and I was complaining and Rish said, well, maybe uh, you need to uh, 
make new goals for starting after you're 40. And I said, yeah, whatever. I said, you can make a goal to be, you know, a, a published author by a certain time. And I said, you know what? That was my goal when I turned 30. I was pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty sad to realize that, to remember. And when I turned 30, I said, okay, by the time I'm 35, my goal is to make a living as a writer. And yeah, I by the time I was 35, I'd made no progress toward that. And Rish said, well, maybe you need to make that your goal for by the time you're 45. And I don't know what his deal was. Usually it's me trying to cheer Rish up instead of Rish trying to cheer me up. Um, but he was making me see things differently the whole time. And I decided, you know what? You're right, I need to make that goal. And this time around, I need to do things differently so that I actually achieve that goal. Not just make the goal and then never do anything. And so I sat down and I wrote up a list of goals and I made them, I, I tried to make them really specific and I tried to give them all a deadline because I was reading on uh, on uh, Dean Wesley Smith's blog where he was saying that you need to make deadlines and, and stick to them even though you're self-employed or whatever when you're a, a, a writer. You need to force yourself to, to live up to your goals as if they were real deadlines, you know, that were imposed upon you by someone else because otherwise, you know, you're never going to get anything done. And so I made deadlines for everything. And I, uh, my, I made a goal for each month of the first year. And I made a goal, an overall goal for the first year. And, and each month's goal sort of built up to that, uh, the goal for the year. And then I even made a goal for the second year. I'm not totally sure what to, you know, I want to make a goal for every year, but it seems to me like some of the goals I'll have to make year by year as I go because I don't know what what I'll need to make as a goal. You know what I mean? Obviously, a goal is write a lot of stuff, but, uh, you know, what am I going to be doing two years from now? You know, I can kind of guess, but you know, I'll probably have to adjust them. And I'm sure I'll even have to adjust the goals that I've made already a little to try and make it work. But basically, yeah, I have a couple of goals and the goals are to publish stuff that I've already written and to write more stuff so that I can publish more stuff because basically to be a, a writer that makes a living from his writing, you have to have a lot of stuff available for people to buy. I think uh, Dean Wesley Smith talks on his blog that, you know, something like 50 or more titles in your store um, is what you need to have if you want to have any chance of making a living as a writer. And so my goals are to write. Um, I made some, some sort of easy goals and sort of difficult goals. Uh, the the year-long goals are more difficult um, and then the month-by-month -month goals I think are a little less uh, although maybe not maybe they're they're more just generally easy to achieve I mean I made the goal to write 10,000 words in a month which is not very much um, so I think I can easily achieve that but I also made the goal to write uh, two stories or a story and a chapter of my novel a month as well which is a, a little bit more lofty of a goal than just the 10,000 words um, so we'll see those, those are my monthly goals two stories or a story and a chapter and um, 10,000 words and then also there, the goal is to publish two of my stories that I've written already each month. Uh, except for this first month, the first month is figure out how the hell to make a, uh, 
an ebook and then do that with one story um, that's what my goal is for this upcoming month so by the end of October I will have to do that um, and I've started working on that so we'll see how that goes uh, but I made these goals about 12 or 13 days ago about two weeks ago I guess and I set my first deadline that I set uh, I was going to make the end of each month, you know, the deadline, but um, because it was kind of in the middle of the month, I made a smaller goal of writing 5,000 words or and or a story. Uh, and I had this story in mind. It was called Chloe, Joey, Zoe, and David Bowie. That was the title of my story. Uh, I came up with the title just I was talking with my daughter once and she was telling me about a couple of friends of hers and yeah their names happened to be one was Zoe the other one was Chloe and I and she said how they went over to one of their's house and I was just like oh yeah and you met your other friend Joey and you guys sat around and listened to David Bowie and you know I was trying to think of everything that rhymed with these goofy names um, and then after a minute I thought you know what that would be a good title for a short story what kind of a short story could that be and so I started kind of racking my brains and trying to come up with an idea for a story called Chloe Joey Zoe and David Bowie and uh, I eventually came up with an idea I did a lot of listening to David Bowie who is not uh, an artist that I have ever been a fan of I generally don't like David Bowie songs um, I've always liked Space Oddity which is a, a really interesting song but you know a lot of his other songs just didn't appeal to me um, so I've never listened to him much but over the last month or a few weeks man maybe it's been a month since I came up with that story title I've listened to tons of David Bowie trying to come up with uh, an idea for a story. And I've watched a documentary about David Bowie doing his Ziggy Stardust thing and just uh, a lot of stuff I learned about David Bowie. And then uh, I came up with an idea for a story and I didn't start writing it until I had less than a week left. And I was just like, crap, am I going to possibly make this? But the first day, I sat down. I think I actually started on Tuesday. The day after I talked with Rish again, after having made all my goals, I talked with Rish again, and he, you know, got on my case. And I even challenged him in reverse. Hey, why don't you write a story along with me at the same time, and we'll see what we can do see if you can write a story by Saturday too of course Rish has a lot of stuff going on he's doing this uh, audiobook for Abby Hilton and Abby Hilton books have a tendency to be really long so yeah he's he's up to his eyeballs and uh, I don't know what would be a good phrase for that I've heard the phrase, up to your ass and alligators, which I've always loved that phrase. That's a fun one, but Rish is up to his eyeballs in i -Cor. How's that sound? I'm trying to get this story done, hit this Abby Hilton book done. So I don't know that he uh, really had much of a chance of writing the story along with me. But he did think about a story and start, you know, figuring out you know who the characters are what the plot's going to be and that kind of stuff so when he does sit down to write it'll probably flow relatively easy which is always nice but anyways on the tuesday after i talked to him i went and i started uh writing on this story and i opened up a window in my firefox to google drive where I've been writing all my stories recently because it, it's nice because it's saved automatically on the cloud and you know my computer updates itself all the time whenever I do anything so it's 
saving automatically on my computer too so I have all this stuff just saved and ready to go which is awesome and um, and so yeah I started writing and I would leave that uh, window just open all the time so anytime I had five or ten minutes or or a half hour or when it was my lunch break or or whatever it was I would just you know type in there a little bit and work on the story and I think each day I expected to probably get you know 500 words a day that seems to be more what I'm able to do than uh, large numbers so I was thinking this would, you know have to be a short really short story for me to get it done by Saturday but instead I managed to get about 1500 words a day every day that I worked on it. I would do this every day I'd open up that window and I just work on it whenever I had a chance and yeah I got 1500 words a day and then on the third day I actually got 2500 words written and uh, pretty soon I was almost done and uh, it was exciting I, I got all the way up to just the last little bit on that day that I wrote 2500 words and then, uh, yeah, the last day I wrote you know, 650 something like that words, and that was just the last few paragraphs to finish off the story. And I finished it. I want to say I finished it on, I think Thursday night, which was several nights ahead of schedule. I was figuring that Saturday night I'd be up at you know nine o'clock just trying to finish it off. Uh, going, come on, come on, I only got a few more hours and then ah, I'll, it'll be too late and I'll lose. Um, I'd even set a blog post to go off at 12.01. It was going to publish that said, I'm a loser. I didn't get my story done. So I could only turn that off if I actually finished my story. The sad thing is, I forgot to. I finished my story, I forgot to turn off the blog post. And so it still went out, a blog post saying, I'm a loser and it had Captain Picard doing a face palm on it. So I had to go back in and, and delete that blog post and make a new one that said, oh, actually, I'm not a loser. And I put a picture of Captain Picard celebrating instead. So yeah, I managed to complete, to fulfill, to achieve my goal of uh, getting the story written in the space of a week. It's pretty cool. I'm excited about how it went. And uh, I'm going to try and keep that up. When I get to work today, I'm going to open up a window that uh, is in, uh, whatchamacallit, in Google Drive so that I can, uh, at any time, well, you know, I got five minutes or whatever, I can type in a paragraph or something like that. And yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same thing that, that I did uh, last week. I'm really excited about it and I'm, I'm it's nice to look up to have my chin up because uh, usually I don't feel that way about my writing because I have a tendency to, to not put in the effort and it was neat to find a way to put in the effort and this year is actually well at least the last few months has been pretty good for writing uh, August wasn't good I'll have to admit I did finish a story in August that I'd started in the end of July, but after that I just bleh, I didn't do anything, and I felt like crap, and I uh, I managed to let every little thing get in the way of me doing anything. But September came along, and and I, I managed to get myself back on track, and I feel good. Um, one of my goals also this year is to beat out last year basically um I had uh or not last year sorry to beat out a few years ago I had my one of my best years uh like five six seven how long years ago it was 2008 I think it was I wrote like six or eight stories I'm trying to remember what my total was now I can't remember it but I was thinking you know if I keep going this could be my best year ever getting the most stories done uh, we'll have to see if I can manage that if I write a story a week when of course it's going to be the best year ever 
going to be by far the best year ever. Even if I, you know, didn't start until like November, it would be the best year ever. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to keep going on that and there's going to be stuff available. So if you enjoy Big Anklevich stories, or even if you don't, you ought to check them out. Um, <laughs> Big Anklevich stories are going to be available. Next time we do a go plug yourself on the Dune Steve, I'll be talking about my story that I have ready to go. Hopefully, I'm gonna keep working on that and hopefully it'll be available for you to get. Um, but yeah, uh, things are looking up and I'm excited. So I'll be back again with some, some more ankle casts in the future. I'm, I'm gonna try and do them more regularly to let you know about what's going on with me. Uh, just finished writing Chloe, Joey, Zoe, and David Bowie. And the next story I'm going to start on today is called Do Over, about a guy who goes back in time and gets to do some things over. Um, that's a pretty simplistic uh, description of the story. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll start writing on it today and uh, I'll. I'll keep on doing updates on Facebook and on the blog, so if you want to check that out, you can. And uh, thanks for listening, everybody, and I'll talk to you all later. I'm Big Anklevich. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way.